Yo, another weekly rotation video. Thank you for joining me. Sorry, it's late yet again. Oh man, this week has just been a really, really long week of work. So the videos are kind of coming out a little later than I want them to be. But on the upside, I do have four days off now, including today. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, I have the next four days off work. So I'm going to catch up on all the videos. So get ready for a, a video storm. You're going to be seeing a lot of contents, maybe one every 12 hours or one every six hours. Depends. <laughs> Jumping right to the video on last Friday or the Friday before last Friday, I wore this scent right here. The first day of the week was Hugo Boss Private Accord. Now this one is not growing on me, but I learned to accept it for what it is. This to me is the most bearable scent from Hugo Boss, the scent line, the whole lineup. I didn't like mm, all the lineup. This one is bearable. This one I can wear on some dates if I really, really feel like it. I'm not repulsed by this. I'm not put off by it in any way. So that's a good thing for the scent. That means they're heading towards the right direction and oh for my taste anyway I know a lot of you guys like this line I personally don't like it But this one private record is passable for me This is the next fragrance that I'm actually going to view that's gonna come out very very soon This is the next one if not this one then the one gray which I'm about to talk about later So yeah, stay tuned for a review of this one for my full thoughts and yeah, that was my Friday scent next We have Saturday and on Saturday I picked up a fragrance that I haven't worn in so long and I'm gutted I haven't worn it pretty much all 2018 all 2018 I don't remember wearing this fragrance once I might have worn like maybe once or twice realistically but I don't remember wearing it which is really sad because this is one of my favorites ever I've just been too busy testing out fragrances I guess but this one is Queer Blanc by Givenchy the white leather pink pepper god this is so so good very very unique from Givenchy their exclusive line I bought this in New York back in the beginning of 2017 it's been one of my favorite work scent ever in the niche department and this year I'm gonna make it a mission to wear this fragrance more and enjoy this one more because this is one of my favorites really good if you guys have not tested this one out yet I highly highly recommend it you do if you like leather and you like a different kind of leather not typically like dark rough leather you want something that is more unique in that department this is a really good one It's white leather with pink pepper gorgeous scent unique and great for the work time all right, next we have Sunday, and on Sunday I wore Dolce Gabbana, the one gray. Again, the one gray. I'm gonna be reviewing this one soon, so stay tuned. I really quite like this one. Look, there's already a dent in the bottle. I do, I do like this one. It's actually not a bad scent, but it's not a wow scent either. But it's okay. I still like it, but I see why a lot of people don't care about it, which is sad. I'm gonna reserve my full thoughts on this one for later, though, because they, honestly, there's not much to say about it, and I don't want to say too much now in this weekly rotation video because of this comment right here. I hope you guys paused and read all that because there's no way I was gonna read that out. It's from a really good subscriber of mine, Mr. Glue Tech Guy. He's really dope. He comments like paragraph and paragraph of comments every time, which I really, really appreciate. He mentioned that in a lot of my videos, I talk, I think I talk too much about scent and I repeat myself in the review or in the battle videos. But he feels like there are some videos that are redundant and I'm gonna change that in the future, okay? I do read comments, I'm gonna change that in the future. I'm gonna try to make my contents more varied. I'm gonna try to not talk about redundant stuff all too much. There will be some redundant sentences here and there, but not gonna be as much anymore. I don't want this to become a problem in the future, so that's that. So for the one gray, I'm going to reserve my thoughts for the full review. But for this video on Sunday, I did wear this one to work. Next one on Monday, I wore Doji Gamal, the one EDP. Now I wore this simply because I want to do a quick comparison wearing again with the one gray before I do a review. I really like this scent. I really, really enjoyed this one. This is my second bottle of it. It's just really good. Like it's one of the most easy to wear scent in the world. I don't think I have to say anything else. It's warm, it's spicy, the cardamom is fresh, it's seductive, the tobacco is nice and sweet, blends in really, really well with the amber. And it's just a really good scent. A nice, fresh tobacco spice scent. It's, it's so good. It's really, really good. Oh man, this is truly a masterpiece though. Like if I was to think of a masterpiece in the designer realm ever released in the past like decade or so, this is a it's just a really, really good release. I commend it a lot for what it does and anyone who hates this because it's not unique, it's generic, it's whatever, I, I really don't care. Name one fragrance that came before this besides the EDT that smells as good as this one. I'll wait. <laughs> 
Next one on Tuesday, I wore Allure Ohm Sport O Extreme. Now this one, nothing to be said about this one. It's my favorite, you guys all know. It's my number one, yada yada. I said a lot about this fragrance, okay? I can talk about this for hours. It's just really good. I wore it simply because I haven't worn it for the past, for a little bit now. Like I want to wear it a lot more because this is my favorite. Every time I wear it, I love it. I love myself every time I smell this scent on me throughout the day. It just makes me feel confident. I like it. So I decided that I want to wear this thing more and more now. I might not include it in the week rotation videos because some of you guys may not notice I wear multiple fragrances a day sometimes I wear one in the morning one in the evening maybe one before bed so I wear like two to three fragrances a day so when what you see here in the weekly rotation videos are the ones that I picked out that I want to talk about this week I mean if I put all the fragrances that I wore throughout the week in one video this video will be 30 minutes because I wear a lot so I might not mention this in the weekly rotation video so often in the future but just know that I will be wearing this thing more maybe when I'm at home or maybe when I'm just you know, chilling out in the morning eating soup or something like that. So yeah, my favorite alone sport or extreme. Next one on Wednesday, I was completely hungover because the night before, Tuesday night, I did a live stream. Yeah, I did a live stream Tuesday night. I had six beers all to myself and the people who were there on live stream would know I was completely fucked over. Like I was so, I was hung over the whole of Wednesday, which was coincidentally the only day I had off last week. Like the only free day I had last week to just do whatever I want. I was hung over for all the days. It was really ridiculous. I got nothing done at all. But luckily towards the end of the day, I did feel better and I went out to Korean barbecue with my best friend, Abi, here in Las Vegas. And I wore Gentleman EDP by Jivon Chi. And yeah, he complimented me. He said he can smell me throughout the whole time. Even at Korean barbecue, this scent was destroying the smell of all the beef, the smoke, the sauces, the chicken, everything, man. This thing was dominating the Korean barbecue restaurant. It was that strong. I wore three sprays, which was probably too much for this scent. But yeah, he gave me compliments pretty much throughout the night. Yeah, he can smell it throughout the night. I think I got at least two to three times that he told me that he can still smell this. And it was awesome. It was dope. This thing is, <laughs> this thing is fastly becoming my favorite scent ever in my collection now, designer-wise. So. Pick this one up if you haven't yet. It's also very affordable. $53 for 100 ml is a no-brainer. It's just really, really good. One of the best releases of 2018, if I do say so myself, is, yeah, grab this one or try this one if you haven't done so. Last fragrance that I want to talk about is Blue de Chanel Parfum. I wore this on last Thursday. This is, um, well, to be honest, I was in a hurry. <laughs> I was in a hurry into work. I was already late, so I was like, oh my god, what fragrance am I gonna grab? I'm already late. So grab this, sprayed it on, went to work, didn't get any compliments, no one really noticed me. This thing doesn't perform well. It really, really doesn't. It performs okay for the first one or two hours. That's when you're gonna get most of your compliments from, if any compliments from this fragrance. The rest of that is really a skin scent and it fades away around five hour mark. Not the best performer, but in terms of smell, this is my favorite out of the Blue de Chanel line. The Parfum version just smells the best to me, but the performance really makes me not wanna wear it all too much. I wear the EDP a lot more. That one performs better, it gets me really, really good compliments. This one just doesn't because the projection is weaker, which is unfortunate. But what can we do? It still smells good. It's still a nice dumb reach. I'm still glad that I have it. I'm not ever going to sell it. I like the smell, but it just, you know, I just can't recommend it to you guys wholeheartedly because it just doesn't work like it, uh, like we all want it to. All right, guys, that's it for the weekly rotation. Before I go today, I do have a quick news announcement. I am going to New York on February 18th to February 21st. So I'll be arriving in New York February 18th in the morning and on the 21st, I don't wanna count that day because I'm leaving to the airport and all that, so that day is probably not gonna happen. So the 18th, 19th, and 20th are realistically the three days that I will have all the time in New York to hang out. I'm gonna visit a lot of um, perfumeries there, Oswald, Twisted Lily, Bergdorf, Goodman, and all the other stores. <laughs> in the uh, in the New York area. I'll definitely keep you guys updated on when I will be at each of those locations. If you guys want to stop by and meet up for like a good 30 minutes or so, you guys can do that. That would be really fun to meet up with some of you guys if you guys are in the New York area at the time. I'll keep you guys updated on this channel, on my schedule and what I'm gonna do. So you guys don't have to worry about missing anything if you can make it. With that said, that's it for this video today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time with another video. Peace out. Oh, I forgot, please let me know down below as well what you wore last week. I would love to know. I always love seeing those. I never talk about them, but I really love seeing them because I feel more connected to you
you guys as my audience if I know what you wear, I know what your tastes are, it's like I know who I'm talking to and I feel like we're all becoming closer friends that way. So please share down below what you wore last week. I always read them and yeah, I'm always excited for them. So with that said, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time in another video. Peace out and bye.